Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, The Jewels to Life. And we're gonna do a flip through on this Bible studies book. The route is called Route 66, Travel Through the Bible. And today, as I promised, I'm gonna do a flip through. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I do various videos. Um, and if you're one of my old friends, thanks again for stopping by and showing your love and support. Now let's get into this quick flip through. Now I ordered this book from Amazon. It was pricey. It was over $30. Okay. But when I got it home and I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. And it was so awesome that I ordered another one. Don't worry about that from my carpet. I ordered another one so my son and myself, we could do Bible studies together. Now, this is not gonna be a part of his curriculum because his curriculum already has Bible. But this, we wanted to do, actually, he asked me if we could do Bible studies throughout the week. And since we're not really going out to church due to COVID, this is something that I figured we could do on Sundays, okay? so. We're going to do a flip through on this. So you have a table of contents and I'm not going to read everything through that. So unit one tells you how it all began. And it has, you know, nice little illustrations in there. Where did the Bible come from? And the key, the thing I like about this is that you read and you have to fill in. So you have to do some thinking. So I figured I'd, I we could have probably used one book, but I wanted to kind of fill in as we go to make it a little, you know, challenging and fun for me and my son. Now here you can read the scripture and you fill it in. And then you also define inspiration, what inspiration means to you. So it, it, it's a little Bible studies workbook all in one. Okay, and it just gives you the different things to do. And this is not something that we're gonna rush through. All right, and then here we have how the Old Testament books and division that I I have to review this because, uh, yeah. The only thing I don't, I, that I, the downside about this book, I shouldn't say it's a downside, but if you don't know some of this stuff, you're gonna have to do a lot of research and finding it, which is good. That's how you learn. Okay, so there's no answer key. Well, if there is, I didn't see one. Maybe I should go online and see if there's one. But I don't think there's an answer key. But anyway, so, think, and then you have think about it to where, you know, you use. And there's a lot of note-taking space, that which I love about this book. Okay, here we go. Genesis, the beginning of, and you fill in the blanks. A lot of fill in the blanks, and then it, you know, here's a little thing, and it just go through to make sure you that you're understanding what you're reading. I don't think this book has an age. Uh, let's see, I don't see anything with an age, um, so I think adults could really benefit from this book also. And the fall of they're talking about the fall of man when Adam ate the fruit. And it just goes through different stories in the Bible. You know, some of these stories, you know, we all know. Some we might not remember. And so this is something that we could do for, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be for the school year, but this is actually a good curriculum you could use for Bible. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to do too much of a flip through, but... It has a lot of great information in here and I just love the fill-ins because it keeps you occupied. It's just like if you're in Bible studies and you're taking notes and um, our church actually have it to where, you know, they do have fill-ins to where, you know, but they give you the answers. But this is where you're going to have to find it. But that's okay because I have a lot of study Bibles. I have a lot of different things that we could reference to if we don't know some of these answers. Um, and trust me, I know I don't know all of the answers in this book, but again, this is just another great book that you could use for your Bible curriculum or just to learn about God and the Bible. 
okay and it's it's basic enough to wear you know it's really understandable for kids i say oh it even has a crossword puzzle i didn't notice that i just saw a cross it's oh here we go here we go crossword puzzle and it gives you the scripture and i guess find the names of judges in the following verses then find them in the puzzle that is a good brain teaser because i have no clue no clue whatsoever so that's gonna be good so yeah this is gonna be a little challenging um but that's good i like i like a good challenge all right guys i hope you like my flip through and it's just a lot to go through and i didn't want to waste your not say waste your time per se but just give you an idea of what's in this book because i had no clue what was in this book when i purchased it so i kind of purchased a lot of my books they may have one and two pages of flip through but to me that's not enough to um to get an understanding of exactly what's in this book so hopefully this kind of helped you guys out a little bit so you can have an idea of what's in it all righty please give me a thumbs up and let me know how you like this flip through if you wanted more detail in the flip through let me know i'm new to this um and again i just want to say thank you guys for stopping by be kind to one another be blessed stay blessed bless someone encourage someone okay and have a good day please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload new videos again thanks for watching bye